of those uh, interviews like last week with uh, Leroy Brown. I couldn't get him to say a word, and uh, so we don't need any of those kind of All right, I'll do the talking for him today if that's all right with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Well, I got a little surprise for Mr. Paul Orndorff. I know you looked carefully down that list of names, and you didn't see mine anywhere, did you? Yeah, that's exactly true. I and I know those that. rednecks are sitting out there saying, why should we waste our money and go down there and see them wrestlers if the king ain't going to be on the card? Come on. Well, let me tell you what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to do you a little favor and surprise, Mr. Orndorff. I'm going to give you two main events for the price of one. Because you see what this is? Yep. It's a Tennessee Athletic Commission application second license. You see that? I see. That's what it is. I've got this, and I'm going to fill it out in just a few minutes. I'm going to take and hand it to Mr. Coffey. And I'm going to be down there, like I said, Orndorff, I'm going to be breathing down your neck. I'm going to be in this man's corner down there tomorrow night. And when he gets through with you, Orndorff, I'm going to get in that ring, and like I said, you're going to get two main events for the price of one, because I'm going to crucify Mr. Orndorff when Leroy Brown gets through him, if there's anything at all left of him. Okay, you lead the people. Let me interrupt you here a minute, Jerry. I know for a flat fact, after the match with Orndorff last Sunday, I went back there. I saw you as you were going into the dressing room. Your face was swollen up. Your face was beat up in there. You were in a situation. Oh, all right, now wait a minute. What is this? Let's uh, keep it under control here. Don't worry about it. What were you saying? I said your face was swollen up. I tried to get in to see you. No, no, Mickey, you know, they wouldn't let me in there to talk to you about it. You had, and I know at the time, you went to a hospital and you were uh, worried about having your jaw fractured and broken. They found out that it was uh, dislocated in there. You're not wrestling Sunday night because I know for a fact that you're under doctor's orders. You haven't wrestled this week and you can't wrestle Sunday night. Your jaw was so beat up where Orndorff hit you in there that you cannot wrestle. You're under doctor's orders not to. So don't give us any of this stuff. Well, let me uh, tell you something. I will be there tomorrow night. And I will get in that ring, and I will wrestle Paul Orndorff. Now, I'm standing here, and I'm telling you that. Uh -huh. After tomorrow night, there won't be anything left to Mr. Paul Orndorff. A man here will have the belt to give back to me, and I'm going to run that jerk out of town once and for all. And let me say just one quick word about this other clown I see out here. Dusty Rhodes, you know, I turn my back for just a few minutes, and all of the scum and all of the rats come out of the woodwork, and before you know it, there you're up to your neck in rednecks and scum and trash around here. You got some black clown named Sylvester Ritter going around impersonating the king. Now, I thought if I ignored him long enough, he'd go away, but I see that's not going to happen. He's going to hang around here. Well, let me tell you something, Ritter. Your day is coming, brother. There's only one king, and you're looking at him right now. Now, we got another fool coming around here named Dusty Rhodes, claiming he wants some of the king. Let me tell you something, Dusty Rhodes. I'm not a hard man to find. I'm in Memphis every week. I'm always here, brother, so if you want me, you just come and get me, because I'm available. Now, for you, Mr. Paul Orndorff, tomorrow is your day. You said every dog has his day, and you're a dog, Orndorff, and tomorrow's going to be my day. Me and this man right here are going to put an end to you, Orndorff. Clarksdale, Mississippi. I'm gonna be there tonight. Calm down, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna be there tonight. If there's anything left, he's wrestling Mr. Bill Dundee in just a few minutes. If there's anything left to Dundee when this man gets through with him, I want to see it. Tomorrow night, every dog has his day. Okay, that's my it. day, brother. That's it. Uh, there goes bad, bad Leroy Brown. I. That's the only sound I've ever heard out of him, and that. Is about the extent of what kind of conversation you can get. There goes uh, Lawler and bad, bad Leroy Brown out of here. Okay.